and we know that our main focus is to solve the second order ODE, the boundary value problem. And we are now finding the solution at the boundary x0 until x1. And we know that the boundary value, when x equals to 1, y must be equals to 0 0.9. And after we use the Euler method, after the fourth iteration, the y value, which is the y4 value, when x equals to 1, is equal to negative 0 0.1313. And this value is not equal to 0 0.9 as stated in the problem statement. So, we need to pick the second guess and we need to repeat the same procedure again by using the Euler method. So, what is the suitable uh, value for our second guess? Our first guess was um, negative 2. The Z value, Z not value is negative 2. This is my first guess. And my, when my Z value equals to negative 2, I got this y value y1 equals to negative 0 0.1313 and this value is very far from 0 0.9 and to make my next result approaching 0 0.9 i need to increase my guess of that value so what number should i pick for my second guess and if you can see here, the y1 value when z equals to negative 2 is negative 0 0.1313. And the, uh, the actual value of y1 is 0 .1, 0 0.9. And the difference between these two values is almost 1. So maybe I can try by increasing but my second guess by 1. So, my second guess dy over dx equals to negative 1. And this is actually the z value. And the next step, you just repeat the same procedure as before. You need to solve the system of ODE by using Euler method. And given the x0 value, the initial conditions are x0 equals to 0, y0 equals to 1.2, and z0 is the second guess, negative 1. So, same as before, we need 4 iteration because our h is 0 0.25 and our x value from 0 until 1. So you just uh, use the Euler method. I think um, I don't need to explain one by one how to use the Euler method. And I will summarize my result in this table here. This is I, the iteration. And this is X, Y, and Z. Okay, when I equals to 0, Meaning that um, the initial conditions, x is 0, y not is 1.2, z is not is negative 1. And then for the first iteration, i equals to 1, x is 0 0.25, of course, because h is 0 0.25. On y, to find the y and z value, you just use the Euler formula. So my y1 is 0 0.95. Z1 is negative 0 0.4. And then for the second iteration, X is 0 0.5. Y2 is 0 0.85. Z2 is 0 0.075. And the third iteration, 
x value is 0 0.75, y3 value is 0 0.8688, and z3 value is 0 0.5. And for the last iteration, x value is 1, y value is 0 0.9938. For value, no need to calculate this value because this value will not be used for the next calculation. So you can skip this Z4 value. Okay, so after the fourth iterations, X4 equals to 1, Y4 equals to 0 0.9938. Okay, so this value here. 0 0.9938 still not equals to 0 0.9. So we need to continue our calculation. Up until now, I already guessed two values of Z. My first guess was Z not equals to negative 2. And from this uh, value of z, I got my y4 at x equals to 1, negative 0 0.1313. And for my second guess, my z0 value is negative 1. And from this value, I got my y by y value at x equals to 1 is 0 0.9938. For the next calculation, I need to choose the third guess. So since I have two values here, I can use linear interpolation formula. Okay, maybe I can draw a table to summarize the result. So this is my Z value and this is Y1 value. So my first guess, my Z0 is negative 2 and the result for Y1 is negative 0 0.1313 and for my second guess, negative 1, the result for Y1 is 0 0.9938. So we need to find the value where y1 equals to 0 0.9. That is between these two values here. Between this one and also this one. So I can use linear interpolation method to find the next guess of z value. So let's assume this is the G1 value. This is the G2 value. G stands for uh, guess. So this is the first guess and the second guess. And this is R1, the result of the first guess. And this is R2, the result of the second guess. And this 0 0.9 is the D value, the desired value. So by using the interpolation, linear interpolation formula, Z value equals to G1 plus with G2 minus G1 over R2 minus R1 times with D minus R1. This formula is used to interpolate the Z value from the interval R1 to R2. Next, just substitute all of the values so g1 is negative 2 plus g2 minus g1 so negative 1 minus negative 2 over r2 minus r1 0 0.9938 minus negative 0 0.1313 times with d minus r1 d is the desired value so 0 0.9 minus negative 0 0.1313. Negative 
negative 2 plus 1 over 1.1251 times with 1.0313. And then that value is negative 1.0834. This value here, this Z value, will be used for our next guess. Our third guess, Z0 equals to negative 1.0834. And given F1 is equals to F1 of xyz equals to z f2 xyz equals to 2y and the initial value y0 equals to 1.2 okay so we need to solve this system again by using Euler method with the initial conditions x0 equals to 0 y0 equals to 1.2 Z0 is this value here, our, th our third guess, negative 1.0834. And I will summarize my result in this table here. This is I, I stand for iteration, and then X value, Y value, Z value. Okay, when i equals to 0, so i equals to 0 is the initial condition. So x0, y1.2, z is negative 1.0834. Then i equals to y, the first iteration, x is 0 0.25, since our h is 0 0.25. So y is, just use the Euler formula, 0 0.9. 292 and z is negative 0 0.4834. Okay, for the second iteration, x is 0 0.5, y is 0 0.8084, z is negative 0 0.0188, and iteration number 3, x is 0 0.75. Y is 0 0.8033, Z is 0 0.3854. And the fourth iteration, X equals to 1, 0 point, Y is 0 0.8997. And for Z value, uh, not necessary, necessary for you to calculate. So just leave it blank here. So, um, for the third guess, y value when x equals to 1 is equals to this value here 0 0.8997 and this value is approximate to 0 0.9 okay the 8 is 0 0.9 um, because if we round off this number into one significant figure you will get 0 0.9 Okay, but why I didn't get the exact 0 0.9? This is just the matter of how many significant figures I use in my calculation. Because I use uh, not so many significant figures, significant digit in my calculation. That's why I don't get exactly 0 0.9 for Y1 value. And since this value here, same as the boundary condition, Y1 equals to 0 0.9, so, the solution that uh, we obtain here is acceptable. The final solutions are these values here. Y0 equals to 1.2. Y0.25 equals to 0 0.9292. Y0.5 equals to 0 0.8084. Y0.75 equals to 0 0.8033. And Y1 equals to 0 0.89997. And this value here is equivalent to 0 0.9. Okay, that's all for this video. And I hope you can try another examples from your textbook.